Let's look at daisy chains and personal tethers. This is a traditional daisy chain. These have been in use for a long time in rock climbing. Nowadays, this is really just for aid climbing. The issue is people have been known to clip to the end loop and one of the midway loops and then somehow get up above the anchor and fall. And this is a static piece of material. So that fall is going to really shock load the system. And if you're clipped here and here, all you have to do is blow that bar tack and that bar tack and your carabiner could come right out. So these could actually fail. There is a more modern piece of equipment that solves that problem. So instead of a series of bar tacks linking one giant loop into a series of small loops, we have individual sewn loops here. So you can't just blow a couple bar tacks and fall out of this thing. So this is actually intended not for aid climbing, but for tethering in a wide variety of situations. I do carry one when I'm on a big wall because it makes me feel really safe at the anchor. Um, but I'll use this sometimes in multi-pitch free climbing or often when I'm out doing my job rigging a bunch of climbs for a group that's going to arrive. So I'm not on belay and I want to be able to quickly tether myself in an adjustable manner. There are a couple of different varieties of this on the market. This one's made entirely with nylon, which is great because it's very abrasion resistant. Um, this one is made, this is my own, they're sold out of this one at the moment. That's why it's a little dirty and doesn't have a tag on it. But uh, this one is made with Dyneema and nylon. Dyneema is much stronger per unit weight. And then the nylon has the abrasion resistance. So notice they've used the Dyneema in the middle and the nylon on the edges to try to get the best of both materials.